Canon has made waves in the professional imaging world with two powerhouse hybrid cameras the EOS R5C and the newly announced EOS R5 Mark II. Both aim to blend high-end still photography and cinema-quality video capabilities into single, versatile bodies. But how do they stack up against each other, and is the Mark II a worthy upgrade over its Canon EOS R5C? Let's dive into a detailed comparison to see if the R5 Mark II and Canon EOS R5C live up to the hype or fall short of expectations. Design and Ergonomics The R5C and R5 Mark II share similar body designs, both featuring weather-sealed construction and a compact form factor. However, the R5C includes a built-in fan for active cooling, which adds a bit of bulk to the body. Both cameras feature a 3.2-inch Vari Angle touchscreen LCD, but the R5 Mark II boasts a higher-resolution 4.15 million dot display compared to the R5C's 2.1 million dot screen. The electronic viewfinder remains largely the same on both models, with a high-resolution 5. 76 million dot OLED display. One notable difference is the R5C's dedicated video, photo mode switch, which completely changes the camera's interface and feature set. The R5 Mark II, while still highly capable in both photo and video modes, maintains a more unified interface. Sensor and image quality. At the heart of both cameras lies a 45 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor, but the R5 Mark II introduces some key advancements. The new stacked, back-illuminated design allows for faster readout speeds and improved performance. This updated sensor works in tandem with Canon's latest Digic Accelerator processor, which operates alongside the Digic X processor found in both models. The R5C utilizes the same sensor as the original R5, which already produced stunning image quality. However, the R5 Mark II's new sensor design promises even better performance, especially in low-light situations. The native ISO range of 151,200 remains the same for both cameras, but the R5 Mark II introduces neural network noise reduction. This deep learning-based technology should result in cleaner images, particularly at higher ISO settings. Another notable addition to the R5 Mark II is the in-camera upscaling feature. This AI-powered tool can create 179 megapixel images by doubling the horizontal and vertical pixel count while maintaining sharpness and clarity. This feature could be a game-changer for photographers who need to produce large prints or want more flexibility in post-processing. Autofocus and Subject Detection Both cameras feature Canon's dual-pixel CMOS AF system, renowned for its speed and accuracy. However, the R5 Mark II takes things a step further with its enhanced deep learning-based subject detection and tracking capabilities. The R5C already offered impressive subject detection for people, animals, and vehicles. The R5 Mark II builds upon this foundation with improved algorithms that can now track head, eyes, upper body, and joint structures. It can also identify persons other than the main subject and even track balls in certain sports. A standout feature of the R5 Mark II is the action priority menu for still photos. This setting can identify sport-specific events, actions, and ball positions for soccer, basketball, and volleyball, making it an invaluable tool for sports photographers. The R5 Mark II also inherits and improves upon the eye control focus feature first seen in the EOS R3. This feature allows photographers to select focus points simply by looking through the electronic viewfinder. The Mark II boasts nearly double the detection frame rate of previous implementations thanks to newly developed camera optics and a revised line of sight detection algorithm. Continuous Shooting and Buffer When it comes to burst shooting, the R5 Mark II takes a significant leap forward. It can capture full-resolution RAW images at an impressive 30 frames per second using the electronic shutter, compared to the R5C's 20 FPS. Both cameras can shoot at up to 12 FPS with the mechanical shutter. The R5 Mark II also introduces a pre-continuous shooting feature, which can buffer up to 15 frames, about half a second, before the shutter is fully pressed. 
This could be a game changer for capturing split second moments that might otherwise be missed. Video capabilities. Both cameras are powerhouses when it comes to video recording, but there are some key differences. The R5C is primarily designed as a hybrid camera with a strong emphasis on video features, evidenced by its dedicated video switch that transforms the camera into a full-fledged cinema EOS system. The R5 Mark II, while still incredibly capable, takes a more balanced approach. Both cameras can record 8K RAW video internally, but the R5 Mark II ups the ante by offering 8K 60p RAW recording, compared to the R5C's 8K 30p in standard battery mode the R5C can achieve 8K 60p with external power. Both cameras support 4K 120p recording for slow motion footage, as well as Canon Log 3 for enhanced dynamic range and color grading flexibility. The R5C, however, offers additional video-centric features like waveform monitors, a false color display, and a multifunction shoe for XLR adapters. One significant advantage of the R5C is its active cooling system, which allows for unlimited recording times in most modes. The R5 Mark II, while improved over the original R5, still has recording time limits, typically around 120 minutes for 4K 60p and below. However, Canon has introduced optional battery grips for the R5 Mark II, including one with a cooling fan for extended video runtimes. Image Stabilization both cameras feature in-body image stabilization IBIS, but the R5 Mark II boasts some improvements. When used with compatible lenses, it offers up to 8.5 stops of shake correction in the center of the frame and 7.5 stops at the edges, a slight improvement over the R5C's 8 stops of correction. The R5 Mark II also introduces enhanced coordinated control image stabilization, which combines optical and sensor shift stabilization with digital is for even steadier handheld shooting, particularly beneficial for video work. Connectivity and power. Both cameras offer dual memory card slots 1CF Express Type-B and 1US 2SD. However, the R5 Mark II introduces Wi-Fi 6E, Wi-Fi 6 support for faster wireless communication across wider frequency bands. The R5 Mark II uses a new, higher-capacity LPE 6P battery, which is necessary to power its advanced features like 8K 60P video and 30FPS continuous shooting. While it can use the older LPE 6N and LPE 6NH batteries, some high-end capabilities may be limited. Canon has also introduced three optional battery grips for the R5 Mark II, including two with a 2.5G base T Ethernet interface for fast, secure hardwired connections. This could be a significant advantage for professionals who need to transfer large files quickly or shoot tethered in studio environments. Final Thoughts Ultimately, the choice between the R5 Mark II and the R5C will come down to individual needs and shooting styles. The R5 Mark II is a more balanced hybrid camera that excels in both photo and video realms, while the R5C leans more heavily towards video production. One thing is certain, both cameras represent the cutting edge of hybrid imaging technology. Whether the R5 Mark II is good enough will depend on your specific requirements, but there's no denying that it's a powerful and versatile tool that pushes the boundaries of what's possible in a hybrid camera. That's all for today, thanks for watching.